back to the car, guys. Hello, sweetie pie. Hello. Um, I know, I booked today off work. We've got here and it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. So I'm going to put the shoes out for Deb and I, Wendy, and I'll sit on step. I'll have to go to sleep. And Deb might go to sleep. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see what we can get together this weekend. Eh? For a video for you. And we'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. You know, all these beautiful little ducks what keep walking about here on Donkey Creek, and we're all going, oh, aren't they cute? I stole these chairs under the caravan, so I don't know if they managed it. Look at state of that. Brand new. They've only been out once. So, my little duckling friends are not really my friends. So, quack, quack. Just had a different Chinese tonight, and it was uh, quite good actually. Salt of pepper, chicken, chips, and curry. So that fast one, I know. Is that any faster? I know. I, I eaten it that fast as well. Uh, we're setting up, week. Exciting times. We are setting up. Well, Deb's setting up for the live. So. Best has had this since she bought it. Though. I know. I bought you that for. What about you that for? For Christmas. Christmas. It's a big difference from the caravan, isn't it? But yeah. Hello. <coughs> we're setting up for. We're getting setting up for the live, aren't we? Make it up to the other bucket here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Deb's birthday on Sunday, so. Oh, if you're not being a surprise, I know you will have. You will have. Oh. Again, you speak for. Forgot about that. No, but I, but I was called yeah, taking. You're stuttering. No, listen to me. I was called taking her for a meal tomorrow, right? But when I think about it two ways, then, if I take you for a meal tomorrow, let's say the meal and the drink cost you 50 quid, right? Uh, would you be happy with that for your birthday present? No, don't do that, Deb. What did I get this for? Uh, listen, I can't remember. Just answer the content question. Would you be happy with a meal for your birthday? You bought, you bought me a new loop. I didn't put money in your account. What? I don't know, so what I'm trying to say... Before, can I... Uh, you get all this shopping, love. All this food I've got for me wagging. I'll put it in your account when I get home. Oh. So <laughs> I'll not put that in there, but... No. All right. I don't know, listen... Oh, you don't forget nothing, you, do you? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I was going to take her for a meal tomorrow. Now, the meal and a couple of drinks comes from about 40 odd quid, 50 quid. A couple of drinks. But she's not really getting that money because I'm having half of the meal. Benefit at the moment. I'm turning everything off. Why? I'm I having was? half of that meal, so I think I'll just give her 50 quid. And you might go out tomorrow and buy yourself something, eh? Or do you, would you still go for a meal? Ah, why can't I have 50 quid to go for a meal? Because I haven't got that kind of money. Uh, we're going on holiday next week, don't forget, in our motor home. Red Lion Rentals, we're going away in that. We're picking that up Friday morning, 9 o'clock. And we're off, aren't we? I don't know what I did. Look what she's done with all the finger marks. Sorry, yeah. just carry on talking. She's got, there's a... That's this, it's put finger marks. got finger marks on all the top, so Deb will have to clean it. Right, so we'll come back to you. I hope you've all... This is going to be on Friday, what's just gone, so I'll... We'll let you know if you all liked it <laughs> or you watched us. Anyway, I've been going on a bit though. Right, we're setting up for the live and we'll see you in a bit, eh, Deb? We'll see you live. See you live, yeah, see you in a bit. That's the problem we're having. Big gully of water coming down. Right. And that's why it's coming in through the seal on the window. But we've got to let the solution man look today. I'll see you in a bit. Morning, Saturday morning. Why my sweetie pies having a shower and getting changed? Uh, I've just arrived here at Morrison's in Kirkham, the local Morrison's. Uh, gonna go in here now because you see what happened with my goat. I've got to change my lifestyle. So, where I normally have three sausage, four bacon and an egg. I'm not buying no sausages. Um, we'll go in here, I'll just get a pack of bacon, uh, some eggs and some brown bread. Uh, I'll go back to keep my sweetie pie and our Wendy, a bit of breakfast, and then uh, we'll see what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to have a look at a few little jobs, whether I repair that back panel, what I made a mess of last time, because Solution Man's told me how to do it. And uh, we'll have a look at that seal, what's on the window. 
uh, and that's it really so let me go in here and I'll get some bacon and I nearly said sausage then uh, thank you for everybody who joined us on the live last night which if you've not watched the live because this is going out on Sunday then go back and watch the live it was a bit difficult this time because uh, last time we did it was in January and nobody was away in the caravan so there was all at home so we had a good turnout it was it was absolutely brilliant right go in here get some bacon egg and I'll see you in a bit bye Morning to my sweetie pie. Morning, just a small breakfast. That's what I've just been morrisons for. I know it don't look small, but it's for three of us. We're just having bacon and egg. It's warm again, isn't it, Deb? Very. Very, very warm. So, right. So we'll crack on with this breakfast. And then we'll see what we're doing, eh? See if I can book a table for a meal, eh? Begrudgingly. No, I won't. I'll, I'll, tell, book, I'll book it. Right, alright. So, see you in a bit. Uh, just had a lovely breakfast. Now we're going to do a process of eliminations. Aye. Uh, a bit posh that for me, won't it? Dave's having a bit of a clean as usual. No. I know, but no. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go outside see if there's any water pooling on that window because this morning it hammered it down as you've just seen on the video clip before. Uh, as far as the back panel on the couch, I've just been round to the solution man's and his car's not there, so he's nipped out. So when he comes back. I'll uh, see if you can advise me on that. So I'm going to go outside now, sweetie pie. I'll see if it's pooling up there anywhere. Then she'll open the window and let's see how much water comes out. All right, is that what you want me to do? Yeah, and then we'll we'll see what happens. All right, go outside, see in a bit. Face on that. It's a good judge you can't eat me. Right, let me climb up here. And there's no water at all pooling on there. Nothing. It's bone dry. So, isn't it? Bone dry. So I can't figure out where it's going. So let me go back inside. And she'll open the window. Let's have a look. Go back inside. Right, there's, it's bone dry up there, sweetie pie. So you want that dry. bone dry? There's not a drop of water Watch visible. Watch it not do it now. I know, but one. There you go. And where's that water coming from? Let me go outside again. Sorry about this, everybody. No. Where's that water coming from? There weren't much, to be fair. There weren't much, no, but... No, it's all here. Look, it's all pooling on top of this seal. Like, can you see it? So it's not... So that seal there's not the problem. It's, it's, the, all... it's the seal above what's letting it in. Oh, isn't there's it? loads on that seal. Right. Yeah, so the se that seal is doing its job. That seal's doing its job letting it come into the Blue. caravan, yeah. So up there, come on, it's got a crack. Eh? What's that? No. Why is it? Yes, it's sitting on that seal. It's coming in there somewhere, isn't it? And then it's sitting on the seal, and the seal's doing its job, so it's not that seal, even though it's, it's wet. Water. It's wet. It's wet. So weather. Right. Well. It's not here. It must be this. It's not here. It's only on this section here. Yeah. Just that section. All this is more dry. So it's just this section. Right. I'm going to climb on the roof as well and see. Eh? What, I'm going, no, I'm not climbing on the roof. The oh, roof. It's there. Jesus. No. Right. Shut right, so, the window, please. Oh, I've knocked your flower over. Sorry. You know what, Pick it up, yeah, I know. All right. See you in a bit then. Because oh. I can't get up there. I'll extend it. I'll make a little video and then I'll watch what I've just filmed. See if there's anything wrong there. Right, so it's coming down. It's going in there somewhere. It's sitting on the rubber. I can't see where it's going. But all that is being replaced, isn't it? Right, I'll go and get step ladders. See you in a bit. Not only if you call that, Deb, but Deb are giving me a finger. I might have said it, but I don't, we don't delete nothing. Any road, we've had this, when people think they've got a problem with the rubber here, because uh, it's pooling water, it's not actually the rubber. The solution man's been right. I don't know if you can see there, they've all got breather holes in. Let's go to this side. I see. That breather rolls in, and the plan is your water should run down onto there and run all the way down there. 
vehicle. So basically, when the water does come in there, it drops on there, it's supposed to run all the way down. Down there, drop down there. Don't know if you can see down there, I'll not show you that. But because we've got the, the caravan we're slightly tilted forward, and if you can see that, that dent there, that's a mass, mass load of water coming down. Once that's sorted, it will be better because it'll have equal equal uh, spread across the window. So basically, there's nothing wrong with these rubbers. Uh, that's what we figured out. We've raised the caravan up a little bit at the back. Can you see that breather hole there? And there's one in each window. So what it's doing, it's dropping on there, and it's not, it's not running off. So, uh, so we've filtered it forward, and we'll see. So we don't need to bother with that window. And he reckons back time we've had that fixed. Uh, just let me come back in the caravan, Dad. Oh, all right, hang on. She's cold, you see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Show on. It's a bit cold, my sweetie pie. Right, let's get back in the caravan. I'll just show you what the solutions man's told me about this. All right. Yeah. Your hands I'm, I'm doing a job. Well, you can still do the job. I'll right, any road. Um, one plan was the screw, which I've lost here. Yeah. The screw, right, he advised me go and get a bigger screw at first. See, to put through there. Uh, but there's no play in that. That, that uh, channel there is meant for that screw. Uh, he knows I fixed that one, he knows I fixed that one and he reckons you're better off not getting involved with it um, it doesn't bother us, he was just does it? it doesn't really bother us but get just get Stuart Longton to do it because if you start messing with things, what's well, not our job? Well, it's a bit late now after you're about to blow the drill tip from Tutabam it doesn't matter, we can, we'll, we'll get Stuart Longton to do it but, yeah, delete the video <laughs> but that's what we was going to do we was going to buy a bigger screw for that, a wider screw so it would get a a better grip, so he's advised me just leave it or let Stuart Longton do it. So that, like I say, it's not a rubber problem, it's the breather holes. It's not a seal. It's not the seal problem, it's a breather hole, uh, which is letting the water down. Uh, so thanks for that solution, man, again, so we don't need my the Stuart Longton's about that. And, uh, and the caravan, believe it or not, it was level when we set it up, and then uh, with all the strong winds and all that, it's gone, it's leaned a little bit forward, so it's no. See, slightly leaning that row, only a touch. What? Look, the row's not shutting on its own, so that's all that matters. Okay, so are you happy with that? So we'll wait till it chucks it down next time, and hopefully, no water will come out of that. So we'll keep you updated with that. Set her off, sweetie pie. Tura. Tura. Where have you been all that for? Because you ain't said Tura. What's up with that? Bye. Tura. Oh, sorry. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. Morning, Sunday morning. Sunday, 30th of July. Time to go home. But best thing about it is, I've only got four days at work because we're off. Hey oh, Red Lions, here we come. Uh, picking our motor up. Mm -hmm. And then we're off for a week. The main thing is, happy birthday, sweetie pie. Thanking you. Yeah. Okay. 26 again. You lose, sod. 24. 24, alright, 24. You opened a few presents. Um, what have I bought her for her birthday? Well, I took her for a meal last night, and I'm that kind of a guy. Uh, I got up this morning while she was still in bed, and you know how she loves cows, and I think it was a good idea. Right. <clears throat> she wasn't really that impressed. But well, I, I weren't really impressed. I went and bought her some milk. What's up with that? It's cozy, isn't it? Well, you didn't show it, man. Yeah, I've really just fun. give it, you know, so... Sam, I've seen it, and you've not bought that. It's off your window. Well, because I've... You spoiled everything. What I'm trying to say is I've not got you nothing, so I said to her, Wendy, have you any milk with cows on? You give me some money. You bought me a new loo, And I gave her some money. And, uh, I didn't buy you a loo, but I didn't give you money for it. You never give it money. Well, uh, I gave you a loo. I bought me own present, wrapped it, and said, There you go, sweetie pie. There you go. Got quite a few presents. You don't show them after, are we? Uh, presents. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going. Show them. Oh, so. you can show that one off. Uh, Paul Pringle. Paul Pringle and Deb Pringle. Getting around yesterday. 
Yeah. I'm going right on there every day. Some chalk. Yeah, I need some chalk. Paul I'm and Deb are the one what got that as well, you see. So I'm going to use this command because it doesn't damage your van. And I'm going to put it there over in the kitchen area. I've just got to say one thing about Paul Pringle and Deb Pringle. When they arrived yesterday, I'd have only seen them once. And Deb, Deb, somebody's here. Ah, yeah. I do apologise for that. And straight away, Deb saw them. She knew, obviously, they were. But, but I knew straight away, about 10 seconds after you arrived. Oh, in, you knew straight away. 10 seconds after they arrived, I knew who they were. But, yeah, a cracking couple, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Right, we're going to... You know what you can do with that, don't you? What? Some sort of sham. Really? It's your Wendy's milk. It's got, yeah, but if you ring her when you know her when he's gone, by the way. It's got... I rung her and I said, Wendy, I know she buys that milk. I said, I've not got them any present. Well, Harold, all right, I'll throw it away. Harold. It's uh, long life. you got some pants, have you? Yeah, these were off Vicky. It's long life, isn't it? It's not been opened. Um, cheapskate. She's giving me an open bottle. Right. right. See you later. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Morning. Morning. Sunday morning. Deb's birthday. So we've got to go home. She can have a nice day enjoying herself. Enjoying myself what? What, what we're doing, you know. Mm. Tidy mess our rooms left. Yeah. Well, you got to do it all for me. I'll give you. you got a quick tea? I'll give you a wave. Yeah, I will actually. Yeah, quick tea, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, this weekend's vlog, it's been a bit of inf inf informative, is it? Is it? Um, the rubber seal on the window. It's fixed, believe it or not. Uh, it's absolutely hammering it down. We've never seen as heard as much rain last night. Got up this morning, under the window, no water's coming. Oh, it's a bit you've seen, it's on, clever that solution, man. As you've seen on the vlog, they've got breather holes, and because the caravan right. was perfectly level, you need to just slightly take it millimeters. So when it comes down on the rubber seal, I'm being quick because she said, right, uh, it runs off. So thanks, solution man, for that. Because I said, well, you're being quick as well. You said, right. When you said right, that yeah. means you fed up or something. Yeah, because you told them it clicked yeah. before. So yeah, so take notice of that, what I told you earlier on, what the solution man told me. Um, to a first Northwest 2024, if you're watching this video now, and you think, oh my God, I forgot to ring up. Well, ring up Monday morning. Um, uh, like I said, there's 37 pitches on the tuning side. There are four pitches here on the seasonal side. And Paul's putting 10 pitches on the field, which is not fully serviced, them 10 pitches. Um, but be quick, because I think it's going to sell it pretty quick. Then we'll find out how many people want to come to a social club, and then they can beat the social club. Uh, uh, is that it? What information this week? Have we done anything apart from take Deb for a nice meal in the ship? No, we've done anything. Not done anything. What, uh, what we will be next week, though. Yeah, we're in the water home. Oh, uh, sorry, Bob, yeah. See, believe it or not, she got up at 8 o'clock this morning, didn't you? What's that got to do with price of bacon? I don't know, maybe you're up till 9. Yeah, anybody? Yeah. I have a line at weekend because yeah, I'm up at quarter yeah, to 6 all yeah, week. Yeah, you deserve it. So, this morning... No, could, it's not. It's little cost... cow, squeak, squeak. Where are you, bro? I didn't sleep. Yeah, I know you didn't have a good night's sleep, did you? No, I tossed and turned all night. But it was a bad night with the weather. It, it wasn't even nice. That was stupid bed. Oh, we've got a stupid bed now. <laughs> I never sleep good in that bed, though. What's me uh, like in the morning when I get up? Where's all the That's because I toss and turn all that. Uh, I'm hoping the bed in the motorhome's good. It's a six, is it six berth? Six berth, yeah, but don't give no secrets about it. We'll show them all that on the video. We'll pick that up Friday morning, nine o'clock. And the plan is then he's come from Red Lion Rentals to here. No, what I'm saying is six berth, choice of beds. Yeah, for me. Maybe, yeah. Well, for both of us, actually, yeah. Why? Yeah, if you don't settle in one bed, you can try a different bed, can you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I've only got that, so I'm not making this bloody thing up. Yeah, pick that up Friday morning, nine o'clock, come up here, put our stuff in what we need, which I don't think is going to be a lot, and then we're off. Oh, can't you tell Tony's not used to packing anything? Why? Well, you're used to coming and all your stuff being here because I've already done it all. Yeah. So you're saying there's not a, a lot of stuff. Cost there is for a week. No, it comes in. I mean, it comes with it comes with your pots, plates, pans, kettle. Cause that's all we need. Gas, away, electric cables, all that. That's yeah. all we need. <laughs> we don't know. But I, don't know. I do. I need pack a lot. So we're looking forward to that, aren't we? Um, 
Right, so let's get on with some shout outs, eh? When Deb stops yawning. A cat? Am I boring you that much? Well, well I suppose they have not yawned for 30 years, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I hope. Right. Mark Shaw wants to wish his wife Jill Shaw an happy retirement after working for the NHS for 20 plus years. You deserve a medal. Thank so, you. congratulations Thank on you for your looking retirement. After us all. Tracy wants a shout out to Monica Watkin on her 60th birthday. So, that's happy birthday from Tracy, Brian, Russ, and Teddy. Happy and from Debbie Turner. Happy birthday. Uh, a shout out to Kirsty Paul Lewis. Is it Kirsty Paul and Lewis from Swinton, Manchester? They just arrived at Piper Heights. They're in their elegance and they've got their new sticker. It says we follow the caravan at is. Look on the on the van what they tore it with. We have a fantastic time at Piper Heights. Yes. Tim Brown wants a shout out to his partner Bernie. He says he loves the laws and he would be knackered without her. Mm. And he won't, you know, Tim. I know Tim, by the way, and he always talks about his partner, Bernie. And he says, I would, I don't know what to do with my life if I didn't have my partner. So, he loves your laws, Bernie. He tells me quite often. So, there's your shout out. Right. Jane Robinson wants a shout out to wish... Oh, it's her birthday today. So, she wants a shout out saying happy birthday. So... Happy birthday, Jane. Happy birthday, Jane. Today? Yeah, today. She's not given her age, so we don't know. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't ask a lady her age. No. And that's your friend and tip, John. John, Dow John from Douse Transport. He met me on Chesterfield Truck Stop last week and uh, I heard him, Tony! And he came over, shook my hand and said, will you give me a shout out? So there's your shout out, John Douse. John from Douse Transport with, with a big red truck. He knows who I mean, so nice to meet you, John. Uh, yeah, and that's it, is it? Right, okay then. So we're going to cut it short now. We're going to crack on. Um, we've got a couple of only short clips, might not even be 30 seconds. So, are you going to put them on at the end of the Solution Man and Annie General? We've got a couple of clips of a couple of fighter jets. Are you put them on after we've spoken? Or are you going to put them on in the week? Oh, hang on. Yeah, see, we've not even edited the video yet, so I don't know. Oh, uh, can I edit the video when we're still doing Yeah, so, <laughs> so if, it, if it weren't for her, I'd, there'd be no YouTube channel. No. Would there? So no. I'll ask you now, with the planes being by the time they watch this, are you just going to say, see you in a bit, and then show the planes at the end? I'll decide. So, so if you've seen the planes, <laughs> then I'll put them in. She's already put them in, <laughs> and then we're, off, then we're off the solution, man, and uh, Andy Geno. Uh, just a little 30 second clip. Uh, if you're not, keep watching now after this and you'll see a couple of, If you come here at Donkey Creek, that's why we love it here as well. Um, we don't see him at weekend. Don't see him at weekend. You come early enough on a Friday, you see him. Uh, but you definitely see him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So uh, if you've already watched them, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not, keep watching. Yeah. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. See if this works. What's up? Thank <laughs> you.